What's up YouTube, Willie Mac here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a training day vlog with MLS's newest and youngest signing, Juan Castilla for the Houston Dynamo. So please make sure you guys like and subscribe to this video and let's get straight into it. So for you guys who didn't know, Juan Castilla is actually a 15-year-old Houston Dynamo homegrown MLS player that just recently signed to the first team. And you know, it's huge, exciting news for him. And I actually traveled down to Houston to come do a video with him. Alright guys, so we're now at Juan Castilla's house. He's actually just doing a little recording with Jodabini TV. They're going to do a little clip for uh, JD's channel, so that's going to be exciting. And yeah, so after that, he wants to actually flex his room off a little bit, show us his antiques, his professional uh, signatures, some different players all over the world, his trophies and medals. And then after that, we're going to go straight to the field and continue with this training vlog to see how good of a player he is. And also, I'm going to beat him in two touch. Don't forget about that. Flex, right? Yeah. And then that's probably the first big trophy I won with Dynamo, mm -hmm. the Supercopa. And then that one's just a nice trophy. Yeah. Uh, Bro, Ronaldo. Let me get that. This is actually bad us. I know. So what do you mean, Ronaldo? It's 2011. 2011. They had preseason here in, at UCLA. Oh, you went to that game? Yeah. yeah. So as you can see guys, Juan, how much, how much, how often do you train? Uh, I usually try to do twice a day, every twice. day, either, uh, usually just one by yourself, uh -huh. because that's, that's really important. Just make sure you got your feet right and yeah. your technical work right. Uh -huh. And then with, in the afternoon with the team, because that's also important to yeah. work, work in a collective, you know? See so guys, this is why he signed a pro contract at 15, because he's dedicated, he works hard and he doesn't take no for an answer from nobody. Yeah. All right, guys, so basically we finished our little warm-up drill. We like to do, you know, some ball touches, two touches, and just quick movements off the cone with the balls. And now we're going to go more into some thinking training. So I'm going to have some cones laid out, and they're going to be labeled A, B, and C. And we're just going to be testing your quickness, agility, and how fast you process things in your head. So let's get to it.
So like, what are some of the hard things, you know, training with the dynamo, things that they're always on you about? Cause at that level, obviously it's different. It's more intense. Yeah. So, uh, everything has to be on the ground. Like even the slightest bounce just slows the game down more and mm. that can uh, prevent a goal scoring opportunity, you know? Yeah. So as long as you hit the ball with good power and keep it on the ground, bro, you're good. Like awesome. that's the main thing. Awesome. There it is. All right, guys. So we've basically done a lot of our shooting drills, crossing, you know, taking a touch, smacking it. We did all different variations of those. And now we're going to move on to some just free kicks, regular free kicks on the left side, on the right side. And then we're going to also move on to some two touch and maybe we'll get into a little cross bar challenge. But you guys stay tuned for this and let's get straight to it. All right, guys, we finished the rest of our shooting drills, passing drills, and now we're just going to go into some two-touch. And, you know, I'm going to win. I know I'm going to win, and you guys are going to enjoy this. So we're going to go after that, and then I'm going to ask him a few questions that you uh, subscribers have asked me. So we're going to get straight into this, guys, and see you in a bit. Yo! Alright guys, Rematch. I was Yo. warming up. Now I'm about to win. One more, one more. See! I told you, bro. Wow, good save. Yep. <laughs> nice save. Oh, that bounce. Uh, you me fucking fish and chips. Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. God. Dude, let's go, baby. Have y'all seen how crusty Will's hair is? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who did this man's hair, bruh? Oh my goodness. He got worms on his head? That's crazy. Two, two. Two, two. Two, two. That's right here. Two, two. 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 Two, Right. 
Yes, two more, let's go. Come on. I'm going easy on them. Sorry guys, my ankle, you know, after those 90 corner bangers, it's kind of hard. Playing. So how does, it, how does it feel that I whipped you in two touch? You know, it's, it's all... It's the last game that matters. Yeah, okay, 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 that's fair. Okay, sorry, that's fair. GG's, GG's. GG, good game, good game. All right guys, so we finished our training. It was good, it was sharp, and it was all game speed. So now I'm just gonna answer a few questions that you guys asked for uh, Juan. So the first one is, tips on vision like on having vision it's like how you worked on your vision in soccer and decision making um i mean i think the main thing uh vision would be just watching film because you don't get a better view of the game yeah. than in film you know mm -hmm. so if you just watch the game uh, not even of yourself you can watch just pro games uh the best of the best do it uh yeah. for me i usually like watching tony cross from real madrid okay his yeah. vision is is top level so I mean, just watching the game from different angles, I yeah. think is the best way to work on work on the vision. Okay, and this one here, how many times do you train? And what type of training do you do? Uh, I usually try to do at least uh, twice a day, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's technical in the morning and then uh, team in the afternoon, but uh, two times a day. And even you can throw in some gym in between yeah. or but you also need to know your body, you know. Yeah. Uh, you can't just be training like crazy. And uh, another thing that it's it's training is recovery, man. Yeah. Like uh, those days that you have off, they're not they're not really off. They're they're you're working on your recovery. So whenever you go to training, you're at your at your best level, and you can get the best out of the session. Cool. Okay. And then this one here is: What are three most important things you can say that helped you the most to get where you are today? Three key things. Um, I'd say probably the people around me, whether it's my family, the coaching staff, my teammates, uh, just having good energy, uh, good vibes, and people that really push me around me. And then I'd say just having the willingness inside of you is, is a big thing. And you hear it from all the professional athletes that have made it far. It just, those are the guys that were working when the others were sleeping. And then uh, the other thing was probably my faith, my faith with God. You know, uh, that's something on, that's guys. really important to me. Uh, he, if it weren't for him, none of this would be happening. Mm -hmm. And it's just the blessings and the opportunities that he opens up. And sometimes it may not look like he's on your side, but he's doing everything for a reason. And he has you where he wants you. And the last question, how do you feel playing with these professional players? How do you feel that you're now officially like an MLS pro player, especially at the age of 15? Uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to like put it in words yeah. of how I exactly feel, but it's, it's just really, I feel really proud of, of all the work and sacrifices that not only myself, but everyone around me has done to be here. And I'm just, I'm just gonna keep uh, the same work as if I'm still chasing the contract, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, every day you gotta put in work. So whenever I get the opportunity to go back and train with them, um, I'm uh, challenging for a starting spot and uh, making the coach think about who he's gonna play. And you know, you gotta keep working. You know, like it's it's also it's a big it's a big uh, 
achievement, yeah. but it's, it's nowhere near where I want to be, so exactly. got to keep working. Never stop. What team do you want to end up playing on? Your favorite team? Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Real Madrid all day, baby. That's, Messi that's or Ronaldo? Right there. Messi, Ronaldo. This is the big question right here. Ronaldo. Any oh. day. Wow. Don't listen. Don't, don't listen. Don't Any listen. Day don't of listen. The, year. the comment listen. section is about Ronaldo, to be heated. Bro. Don't listen. <laughs> Guys, Ronaldo or Messi? You guys choose Wait, who's better. Put in the comment section down below. Yeah. Ronaldo. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. We had a lot of fun with uh, being with Juan Castilla. You know, thank you for having us out here. And, you know, hopefully we can do this again someday. But make sure you guys like and subscribe this video. And make sure you guys are staying determined, driven, and disciplined in your goals every single day. Sure. Peace out.